What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Rick Owens rotation where every episode we are adding some new Rick Owens pieces to the rotation. It's exactly what it sounds like, you know what I mean? But today, this episode, I'm, I'm gonna give it a title. I think what we're gonna call this episode is... What the hell is this thing? And we're gonna attempt to answer that question here. Hopefully we'll figure it out over the course of this episode, but we'll look at all the details. We'll throw a fit together and hopefully by the end of it, we know what this is. So let's get into it. Hey, I don't know if you saw my last video, but actually my Instagram recently got banned. So uh, if you wouldn't mind, please go follow me. I've created a brand new one. I have like no followers yet. I got to build it back up from the start. Uh, the tag is on screen. Follow me there. The link is in the description. So yes, please go follow me on Instagram. I love you. So this definitely is a top, I know that much, but it's just kind of in a pile right now. It almost looks like medical gauze or something. So I think we got to start laying this out to figure out what it is. So first, let's find the neck tags. At least that'll give us somewhere to start. I would have thought they were up here, but they're not. Are they here? No, that doesn't seem right. That seems like the bottom. Hold on here a second. Where 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 are we, you guys? Okay, I think we're, we're getting somewhere maybe. Oh, there's, oh, okay, care tags and neck tags right there. I gotta assume this is the neck. So if we position this at the top. All right, here's what I've figured out so far. There's that, then that happens there. We've got a sleeve with a hole coming down here. And then we've still got a massive pile down here with another sleeve coming off of it. All right, let's, let's lay out the rest of this. It is just long. All right, we did it, we did it. Let's follow this all the way down. Yup, yup, okay. Whoo, and there's where it ends. Yeah. So let me tell you, when I first picked this piece up, I thought this is what it was. I thought it was a very, very long, like sheer sweater that was half tank top, half sleeved, and just came down very long with all these kind of like, basically an upside down sweater. Cause you can see it's basically the same thing down at the bottom here. So that's what I thought it was. And I was totally cool with that. I was really happy with it. But then I started doing some research and I finally found a picture of this on a model. And I figured out, first of all, it's a women's wear piece. And second of all, this isn't actually how it's supposed to be worn. So let's bring that picture up now. And there you go. You can see that it is actually a symmetrical piece, uh, but it takes some work to get there. Basically what you do is you take the, you put it on as it is here, then you take the bottom and you like fold it back over to being here. So then you've got this other arm here coming down and this kind of like goes over the shoulder or something like this. And then you actually have like a fairly normal sweater, I suppose, something like that. I don't even think I did it right here, but that's the deal. So that is absolutely wild, isn't it? So let's try to learn a bit more about this piece here. So as I said, we've got the neck tags and the care tags all in one here, which is very abnormal for Rick Owens. I'm guessing that's just due to how unique this piece is. So we can see the landing strip tags here, Rick Owens, and then off to it, we see that it, this is from the Phlegathon. I don't even know if I'm ever pronouncing that right. Phlegathon. Tw spring summer 21 collection so this is quite a recent piece here and on our care tags we've got a lot of good info we've got the logo all that stuff and then we've got sizing we see that this is an extra small so that kind of scared me when i realized oh this is a women's wear piece and it's tagged an extra small there's no way that's going to fit especially considering that rick owens tends to fit tight as it is so we'll have to see about that we've got our color which is oyster and our composition, which is 100% cotton. It looks maybe like something else, like a more sweatery material, but this is cotton right here, probably for the strength that it gives you since it's so thin. And finally, of course, as with all things Rick Owens, made in Italy. So as for the fabrication, you've really got two elements here. You have all of the like closures, which are this like thick rib knit right here. Got a lot of stretch to it. It's at the shoulder here, the neck, all that good stuff. And then you have the body, which is this very thin sheer, like you can completely see my hand through it, this very, very light kind of membrane knit. Although we do have some finished edges and things, they, it looks like here maybe they use the salvage edge of it to make these like shoulder holes as well. And for such a weird piece, that's really kind of the gist of it right there. It just is nearly symmetrical from top to bottom. This just bottom is a bit wider than the neck and you'll see why later. Uh, the cuffs at the wrists 
are left very, very raw, as you can see. And that's our piece right there. It's just, I wish I could show you in context how long this thing is. I'm, I'm sure you're getting it. It's really double length because it's got to be folded in on itself. It's just insane. All right, now that we've checked out all of those details, let's throw a fit together so we can try this piece on. All right, so of course we have got our top here, our knit banana top. Uh, then we need some bottoms, of course. And I think our color palette for this one is gonna be this kind of oyster cream color and black. That's a very Rick Owens color combination. So in keeping with the Rick Owens-iness, I've got this pair of Y3 drop crotch shorts, really like oversized, large baggy shorts. Um, for shoes, I actually realized that the Yeezy slides that I've got are actually a really, really great color match with this top. So I think that'll work surprisingly well. And then this piece, I mean, this look really with the shorts and stuff and slides, it doesn't feel like it needs outerwear. I would say like if I was going out in this look, I probably wouldn't be wearing a jacket because shorts and a jacket, just kind of a weird combination. But just to complete the lookout, we're gonna use this Hyder Ackerman bomber here. I love this piece so much. It's got like the ruched sleeves. Oof, so sick. So we'll try that on for a bit as well. All right, uh, let's see what happens here. Oh man, where to even begin with this? Um, first of all, I'll say I think the fit is actually really, really sick. I wasn't totally sure how I would style this, but like this works for me. But before we get into kind of fixing this up and showing the different ways you can wear this, let's talk about how it fits because I was worried about that since it's a women's extra small apparently. But really, since it's supposed to be worn skin tight, this fits me perfectly well. Like I usually wear a men's small in most things. And for the type of fit you're looking for out of a piece like this, this is absolutely perfect. I would say it fits like I would expect a men's small of this piece to fit, which is great. And then let's talk about the feel a little bit as well because it's really, really cool. It's all cotton, but it's so thin, so breathable that you really feel like nothing's there, except in some of, you know, Rick Owens is really known for kind of tighter sleeves, shoulders, things like that. You do start to feel it in those areas, but beyond that, it's just like like wearing a mesh over shirt or something like that. Like you barely even feel it's there, which is sick. But now let's talk about wearing this the, the quote unquote proper way. Because as I said, the proper way is to fold it back up over the shoulder and put your left arm through the extra armhole. And then you actually have like a semi symmetrical piece here. Uh, once you do that, it does start to look more women's wear in my opinion, but I have no issues with that. I also really like the effect you get almost like a bandolier going over the shoulder, like a crossbody strap kind of thing. I really like the look of that. And then the shoulder holes are just very, very interesting in and of themselves. I don't know, it's really cool. And the folded effect that you get for the hem there, like there's no hem, all it is is an extra fold. And I think that's really cool as well, not something you see very often. And I just love the way that Rick Owens' mind works like this. I could never even conceive of creating a garment like this. It's, I don't think my brain could work that way, but I appreciate there are people out there who do think in this multi-purpose kind of way. You'll also note that once you fold it over like that to get the second sleeve on, it's not as see-through anymore because now you've got two layers of the fabric going over the chest, which may be preferable to some people that don't want to show their nips all the time, you know what I mean? As for me, I think I actually prefer wearing it the undone way. I just like things that look kind of unfinished. I've always been into that. Uh, the only problem there is that this extra sleeve that hangs down is very long. It touches the ground. So you'd have to kind of tie it off or fold it up or something like that to get it to not touch the ground because you don't want that just dragging on the ground. But that's a, a fairly minor issue that could be easily figured out. But Whoa, what a wild piece. Make sure, please guys, let me know in the comments what you think of this piece and how you would wear it and what you would do with it. I'm, I'm so intrigued to know. All right, so that is the Rick Owens banana sweater top. I don't know, yeah, sure. Uh, take a look at the other video on screen here. Subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I'll see you next time.